Well, in case you missed it, the Trump administration has announced plans to cut off all funding for local governments that call themselves sanctuary cities. At least one city, Miami, has bent the knee, but politicians in other cities say they plan to keep defying the federal government. Horrible father style. Now, a Republican legislator in Colorado wants to give resources to the victims of those policies. Representative Dave Williams, the Colorado uh, his, has a new bill called the Colorado Politician Accountability Act, and it would allow the victims of crimes committed by illegal aliens to sue the political leaders of the sanctuary cities they live in in civil court. Representative Williams joins us now from Denver. Representative, thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you for having so, me, Tucker. How exactly does this work, or would it work? Well, basically, what it would do is it would empower victims like Kate Steinle's family to uh, basically sue, uh, file civil suits and criminal complaints against these lawless politicians so that they can not only win in the court of public opinion, but also in the court of law. Huh. So if, if you're injured by someone who's here illegally and being given sanctuary, you could sue the mayor, for example, or the city council of that town? Right, absolutely. If these politicians uh, create the environment, then they need to own it, and then they need to have skin in the game. So people are going to say this is an anti-Hispanic bill. What do you say to that? I say that that's, uh, for, that's far from the truth. I'm actually Hispanic myself. Uh, what this is about is uh, keeping communities safe in Colorado. We've had people die in our state and, of course, around the yeah. country, and we need to hold these guys accountable for that. So what's the argument against this exactly, and who, who's opposing it? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure what a reasonable argument would be against this. Anyone who opposes this bill is someone who wants to continue to violate the rule of law and allow criminals to run loose on the streets. Right, because the bill doesn't target the people here illegally, it targets the people who allowed them sanctuary while they committed crime. So in effect, opposition to this is an endorsement of crime? I mean, what exactly, would that be the argument? Right. Right, that is the argument, and that's what the Democrats are arguing right now as we speak. In fact, they're going to run their own opposition bill to make Colorado a sanctuary state. It's shameful, it's reckless, and they're endangering the lives of the very people that they're supposed to be serving. So this law would allow people to get recourse in a civil court. Have you talked to the trial lawyers about this? They're, they're for more lawsuits. Are they for it? They're actually uh, not for it uh, because it runs counter to their own uh, political ideologies. So even though it would help make them a little bit richer doing the right thing, they still don't want to do the right thing. Wait, wait a second. So trial lawyers, the trial bar is arguing in public that people shouldn't have recourse in court to redress injuries done to them. That, they're really saying that out loud? Well, I don't know if they're saying it out loud, but I can tell you from conversations I've had at the state capitol, they are not in favor of this bill. Because you believe they're puppets of the political party that opposes it for ideological reasons. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This is nothing more than a bunch of liberals that are getting together and advancing an unlawful agenda to uh, endanger the lives of the very people they're supposed to be serving. That's so interesting, considering they're for opening up lawsuits against anybody. Gun manufacturers, for example, that's a major piece of the left's uh, proposed anti-crime legislation. But they're not right. uh, for this. Now, um, what do you think the chances of Colorado becoming a sanctuary state, so-called, would be? I think uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, fortunately, we have Republicans that control the Senate, so they will kill that bill. And if my bill were to die, I'm going to try and get it passed in that Senate so we can prolong this debate and, and, and uh, make sure that we take ample opportunity to make Colorado safe. State Representative Dave Williams joining us live tonight. Thanks a lot. Godspeed. Thank you.